So hello guys, uh, welcome to the Crypto Geek official YouTube channel guys, hope so you guys are doing well in this video update, we'll be definitely talking about ERB, so if you guys are new in this channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure to hit that notification bell icon if you guys are not in my discord, the link of my discord is in the description, get into my discord right now, so guys before wasting any time, let's get going at the time of recording this video. ARB is exactly trading around one dollar and fifteen cents, and uh, if you focus on uh, right here, ARB is right here, uh, exactly at the support, and this is the do and die situation for ARB. ARB should consider or should go to the upside from here because if it dips down further, at least it if it dips down further, it should form this deviation for me to get some sort of a strength, right? To get some sort of a trust on ARB. Other than this guys, ARB is definitely not looking very well. And I told you in my last update that for me it at least has to put some high above it it at least it push it should push to one dollar and sixty cents for me to see some sort of a strength. And last time I have bought exactly into this area and it already produced some up. That is exactly from one dollar and forty cents. It pumped one dollar and sixty cents. So I just already made some a small amount of money from ARB, and then the overall uh, dump came into the market for Israel and Iran war. And right now we are again seeing a lot of news from Israel that they will attack again. What you call it? They will again attack. Uh, Iran so it is not a good thing for the crypto space and that's why I expect that maybe we can see some lag down to just fill these wicks right to just fill these wicks what exactly I'll say so this is what exactly I, I expect personally and maybe if somebody wants to agree with me most welcome so guys uh, other than this in my last update so you guys can exactly say this in my last update I told you that we need to flip above this area i told you we need to flip above this area there is some sort of a good area that we, if it dips down we can definitely see some bounce from one dollar and five cents right to see some up a very small scalp you guys can definitely uh, expect because there is a one hour fpg and uh, at the same four hour fpg and at the same time there is some sort of a dip so if we flip this we can definitely see some up right here other than this is a small scalp that I told you other than this guys I told you guys this is the uh, 0.6 Fibonacci retracement level we tapped exactly right here and from here we just uh, had a good good rejection and you guys can exactly say this on the daily time frame we had a good rejection out of the 0.61 uh, Fibonacci retracement level so at least we need to flip few levels and then the strength will come back until then we will definitely see some weakness for now we are pumping from one dollar and ten cents if we break below one dollar and ten cents then the range is 90 cents to uh one dollar and ten cents right where one dollar will definitely act uh, as uh, some sort of a psychological level psychological support right right now it's already acting as psychological support right here so guys this is what exactly i personally expect and uh until there is no strength in the market the arb will continue the same if you ask me that should i buy should i not i will say you should buy i will say because i think personally that the market will uh go up sooner or later although if you say that it will straight go up from here it is the bottom i will not say that it is the bottom but I can definitely tell you that it is a good discount price. And if you focus overall right here, from this high, we have already down of almost 65%. So personally, what exactly I expect that it should go to the upside from here. This is personally I expect. And uh, for me, there is no has such strength. So we can definitely break down, but we need to form some a complete deviation and then flip off 0.6 Fibonacci retracement level and then uh, again a great uh, what you call it this is a great uh, a demand zone which was a good demand zone from where we bounced but it will definitely act as a resistance so that's why I will say is that to to continue to the upside we need to break above a one dollar and sixty cents and then again came down to one dollar and two four cents and then again to the upside this is what exactly I personally expect and uh, if I show you the ro road map, I will definitely show you something like this. And then this uh, deviation break off structure again came into the zone. 
and then again this high this is what we would what i think it should be the way it is and there is nothing much more to talk about and then secondly if you guys want to join my premium discord get into my discord